everybody welcome back to my youtube channel and i hope that all of you out there are doing okay especially after the lockdown extension um so just do what you gotta do right now um, sanitize and wash your hands regularly and most importantly stay at home just be strong guys i believe that this will be over soon all right now let me just say guys thank you so much for the love thank you so much to all the new subscribers who have come into my channel and subscribed guys i really really appreciate it and welcome to the family and to all of you who have been who have subscribed and are still here with me thank you so much guys for the love and for the support i appreciate it i see the comments i see the likes and guys thank you so so much now as you can see from the title of the video today i'm going to be sharing with you my experience or with antenatal depression and then of course you might be wondering so how did you know you had antenatal depression or you almost had antenatal depression i will answer that and the other thing is how did you escape the antenatal depression pit i will also answer that question so without wasting any time let's get into the video Hi guys, so I was done filming and I remembered that I did not put this up on the video and I feel it's very important that I put it up. So it's a disclaimer that I am in no way a medical doctor, I am in no way a mental health expert, I am in no way a psychologist. This was just me sharing my life experience and hoping that it helps somebody. So you know what they say, right? Experience is the best teacher, so yeah, let's go back to the video. Alrighty guys, so where do I start? Let me start from the video that I posted previously when the one about finding out we were pregnant, right? So I cried guys, I really really cried. As you saw, if you haven't seen it, go check it out. I'll, I'll put the link on the description box. Um, description box <laughs> and let me just say this guys that people making noise outside and i can't control it so i'm so sorry about the noise so bear with me all right so yeah i did i did cry go check out the video and then i had this question here it was from my girl kumo she asked me if we had been trying for so long that's why i cried and the question is no we didn't cry for, try for so long in fact after uh, the wedding in november i stopped the peel and then in december we tested that for pregnancy it was negative and literally in March we found out that we were pregnant and before getting married we are not really trying to have babies so yeah I the reason why I cried guys is because I was so excited I felt like God's blessing is just like they are pouring and I just felt like it's such a great blessing to you know for us to be pregnant and to have not tried for long and it was just like and plus we wanted the baby and it was just like those were tears of joy honestly i was so overwhelmed with joy so yeah uh kumo i hope i have answered you and yeah in fact that is the first emotion that i felt i was overwhelmed with joy now days later guys the video has started days later now i started feeling different i started feeling a bit scared and anxious um that was because i was wondering am i really gonna be a good mom has this happened to you ladies where you ask yourself am i really going to be a good mom am i really gonna be gonna do right by this child so i was so scared and then i was also anxious because i was like i hope i do not miscarry this child because i mean pregnancy is so sensitive and anything can happen so i i was really crossing fingers that i do not miscarry this child and the other thing is that now that i had to start eating right i was so anxious people thought is am i is this right for this pregnancy won't it hurt the baby won't it hurt me because now i'm pregnant so it was just oh so i was really really feeling that after being excited now fast forward to eight weeks of being pregnant still in first trimester guys i my my that which i always deal with and my nightmare came back acne pimples and i was like no not again why do i have to deal with this even when i'm pregnant why so acne filled my face guys let me just show you a picture it filled my face and where i work guys the, you know most people had not seen my face before i had acne so they had they thought i had this beautiful skin so now because that's how they knew me and now started seeing me different they started now bringing in the comments guys i just wish people could sometimes keep to themselves they started bringing in the comments hey 
video and some started even recommending products and by the way I couldn't tell them that I was pregnant so I just felt like can this baby bump just show so that these people can keep quiet and now this you know know that oh the reason why she was this way is because of this so yeah that now made me so emotional most of the time and also made me just feel like ah I sometimes don't want to be around people so that's what I felt now let's take it to easter holidays guys um during the easter holidays there are three things that happened okay no before before that let me just talk about something huge that happened so when i was pregnant i told my mom my mom-in-law got to know as well and a few people at work that i work closely with got to know all right um so um this is what happened they would keep on checking on me how are you doing um because they care right I mean yes so now the thing that I didn't like about all of that is that after telling them how I felt this these are the words they said to me and these are the words I disliked when I was pregnant they were like me iteke iteke lo yena mma ako u iteke iteke tlhamma and guys it was first trimester I was pregnant my body was going through something that was huge for the first time ever in my life so like and I, I felt like you just volunteered to ask me how i'm doing yes you care but why do you have to tell me what to keep it? because guys i was really really trying to be honest it's not like i didn't bath it's not like i didn't try as much as possible to look okay though it was hard it's not like um i wasn't eating well it's not like i i even tried to exercise a bit it's i did make effort to look normal and to make things normal but then why do you have do they have to tell me what to keep thinking? it's like they they felt like i wasn't doing enough to to be okay even though i was not okay it was so confusing and that guys it pushed me to my own little corner i don't want to lie it pushed me to a corner because i felt like all these people don't understand me my husband included he felt like it again even when i told him that kind of why are people saying this to me and he tried to explain to me but this is what they mean yes i had tried to understand him but at the same time i was like no guys you can't tell me to eat the guy i think and because firstly i care about this baby so i have to do right by this pregnancy and this baby so i felt like everybody didn't understand me even the women in my life i felt like they have kids uh, more than one and they it's like they don't they, they don't understand what i'm going through is it because they have they are they have passed that stage so they, it's like man, now they forgot how somebody can be or how somebody can feel i don't know um also um people were like at least you aren't vomiting at least you aren't nauseous but even though I'm not nauseous and vomiting, I am feeling a certain way. I was extremely exhausted, guys. I was bloated most of the time. I was not okay. Uh, so they made me feel like, at least you are not, so you should be okay. And it was just like, nah, I, I can't with these people. So it pushed me to my own little corner, as I've said. And I felt alone. I felt like why should i share with them what how i'm feeling um so I, I might as well just keep to myself yeah so yeah that's what happened and the other thing that happened to me um is that during easter holidays um so my husband was you know he had an event so he 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 kept on going out every day to prepare for that event so usually on, on a normal basis i would want to tag along and at that time i just felt like nah man i, I don't want to go of course with the exhaustion let me just stay home but also i don't want to be around people one they're gonna see the acne and might ask me what's going on so i don't want to i'd rather just not i'd rather just be alone so i didn't tag along the other thing that happened is that my mom um one of the days during easter she she invited me for to, to church rather uh, because there was a church conference that they had and um i i was skeptical to go because i was like yeah i'm gonna see people there and i'm gonna see my mom what, she, what if she says those words and i started to go in the evening because okay probably people won't be able to see how my face is like and plus we'll be in church so everybody 
everybody will be busy concentrating and people will not be chit chatting so yeah well and good and when i got to church uh, it had not started yet and people kept com on coming to her people kept on coming to say hi to me i was like um are they counting pimples on my face do they see that i'm exhausted what if now they ask me and i tell them i'm tired and then i don't know what so i just felt like ah people 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 you know and then the other thing that happened guys is that one of the days during easter when i was alone at home in the afternoon i was craving um tinned fish so because it was in the afternoon and um, it didn't it, it wasn't it we didn't have it at home i was like no there's no how i can go to the shops now because people are gonna see me and um i'd rather go in the evening so in the evening when i went i wore baza baza yeah food so i wear this big head because i was like i have to hide from people um they shouldn't see me or if they see me i should pretend as if they i didn't see them because of the huge hat i was wearing and so i went and then when i got to the, the the parking lot i sat there for about 10 minutes contemplating should i go in should i not go in what if i bump into somebody i know what if what if what if and eventually i did go into the shop but guys usually when i go into the shop i would check in a few things here and there but then the day i went straight to what i wanted got it paid and dashed to the car my phone is ringing i will check on them later i just to the to the car guys and then um i was so relieved when i got back home because i was like bingo nobody saw me and 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 i was okay and then the last day of easter guys that's when i realized that things were really really bad because i couldn't sleep that night i really couldn't sleep so i woke up at around 3 a.m crying i cried for a good hour just wondering why i was feeling so sad i was feeling so down i was i knew that i was not okay i knew that i just like i'm not okay i like i was really really crying and then I just wondered but why am i feeling this way why am i feeling like pe people are against me why am i feeling like all these people like it's, it's as if they care but that they're, they're pretending to care because they, they say these words to me why does it look like i'm overly sensitive why do i feel like i don't want to i don't want to spend time with people why do i feel like all these people can they just go away I, I don't want to be around people and then i got into google because i was in i think the second month or so i don't know yes yeah, second month of of pregnancy yes because i was at that stage i researched i was like um two months pregnant and always want to be isolated and bingo all the answers came in that i it's a sign of antenatal depression yep and the, it, the, the information was saying that if i this goes on for more than a week or or two weeks then i should know that i'm right in the pit of antenatal depression and that made me cry even some i was like this is a beautiful time i'm not supposed to be feeling this way i don't want to be depressed i don't want to be going through this why why is this happening to me no i cannot be going through this i cried a lot guys and um i'm glad i i cried i'm glad i got in touch with my emotions let me just answer this phone guys this call right all right guys so um what was i saying um i was saying that so i'm glad that i managed to get in touch with my emotions because um usually i'm somebody who i allow myself to be in touch with my emotions i allow myself to not shy away from experiencing exactly what i'm experiencing and feeling exactly what i'm um, or what i'm feeling if i have to cry i cry if i have to pray i pray so that is what helped me to now be able to escape um being in the pit of of, of antenatal depression all right <clears throat> so i i cried and then after crying no no not after crying while crying i took a page i like i wrote a letter four page letter to my husband because i needed to express how i was feeling i needed to tell him that you know what i feel all of you don't understand me i feel like i'm expected to be okay even though i'm not okay i'm expressing this for the first time i wrote all that i was feeling to him and that really helped because i understand that journaling is very very important and can help you to be able to release your feelings and without being judged without being interjected so i would encourage you always journal or uh, like generally i don't journal but at the time it somehow that which i did it really really helped me to release the feelings so if you don't journal often but at the time that you're feeling down journal or put it down or write it down exactly how you are feeling it will help 
to release like i said those emotions or exactly how you're feeling so i did write that letter and i'm happy to say that it, it's one of those things that helped to to um to for me to release the pain or the frustration or with the feelings that i had right i did journal and i did write that letter rather after that when i was now okay i prayed and guys the tears came back again while i was praying i was like god no i can't be feeling this way i can't be feeling like people don't care even though i know they care i can't be like i can't be this way this is a beautiful thing we asked for it now i can't be going into a depression no no uh -uh. so i prayed and asked god for strength and i asked god to just help me understand that these people care i prayed for wisdom and to just say god help me to be able to be strong even people bring in comments because i can't control that may i please just be strong i prayed guys and it really 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 helped me out prayer is very important it gives you hope because you know that god will be able to take you out from that situation that you are going through um yeah so that really really helped me a lot let me just check what i'm leaving in terms of what i did um yeah it really really helped helped me a lot and then the next day i was okay i started now telling myself that you know what you you've asked for this baby it had to happen um the pimples they will go uh, you had at me before yes it's painful that people do comment but you can't control it and let me just say to people that keep on commenting about acne guys just keep quiet don't don't comment and don't always feel the need to give advice because it doesn't come as like you are it doesn't come to us like you care sometimes because sometimes people give advice and tell you what to buy because they want to make money with the because they are selling products that they think can heal at me we see also um yeah just sometimes keep quiet and don't comment see what you see and and forget that you saw it and don't comment and don't say anything to people who are experiencing that that what that which they're experiencing so um yeah it, it 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 was a difficult time but i'm glad that i did not get into a very serious case of of depression because i'm wondering what could have happened had it been worse so um with this video i'm hoping that i help anyone out there whether you are new you just found out that you are pregnant or just anybody whether you are, you are male or female get in touch with your emotions at all times get in touch with your emotions but how can you do that spend time alone allow yourself to allocate an hour or so to spend time alone so that you can do self introspection so that you can get in touch and find out why you were sad yesterday what is the root cause because you need to deal with the root cause of how of why you are feeling sad and that's when you can know the solution to that problem um so don't always have noise in your life block social not like block social media noise from from your life um put away your phone and um and and, and spend time thinking about your life how you are doing how you have been doing and um and that can really really help you to know how, how you are and 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 how you are doing so spend time alone to block away the noise and do self-introspection that is very very important it can help you get in touch with your feelings journaling as i've said and it really really helps you do journal and of course if you can talk to somebody do talk to talk to, do, do talk to somebody and you'll never know they might help you but if you feel people are just too much and they're seeing the wrong things do uh note things down and when you are feeling okay at that time or feeling better maybe then give somebody your journal then they can read it without interjecting and then they can say oh no i didn't know i'm so sorry you have been feeling this way i'm so sorry you've been neglecting me i'm so sorry you've been interjecting when you're trying to tell us how you're feeling how can i help what can we do it really really helps and also if you're not feeling okay at a particular time do something bake if it, if, if, if it makes you feel better listen to music i do listen to a lot of um, gospel and gospel does wonders for me it always makes me feel better also do pray if you
you are a believer do do pray it also really really helps guys antenatal depression is a real and for me i most of the time i don't know most of the time i see people talking about or addressing postnatal depression but i want to say that we also need to tap so much more into um antenatal depression because it's also real it's it's happening to a lot of women out there sometimes they don't talk about it and um yeah it becomes so difficult so let's let's try as much as possible to 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 converse about these issues because mental health guys um it's a very sensitive one if you, it's not if your mental state is not okay you you just things just will not go right you will not be able to enjoy your pregnancy you might even start um you might even lose the baby or you might just hurt yourself you know some people cut themselves that is a sign of just a, 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 a um at the highest level of depression so let's 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 deal with our mental issues and let's be in touch with our emotions let's be aware of, of our surroundings and be aware of what triggers these emotions and let's 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 just take care of our mental state guys it's one of the most important things or it's one of the most important um like parts of our being so um yeah i i hope i haven't left anything but that's how i almost got into antenatal depression and that's how i ended up finding out i uh, had i almost had antenatal depression and also that's how i managed to escape antenatal depression guys um i hope this helps somebody just one person um it doesn't have to be about pregnancy because this i think it's a um, it, it can also be used to address depression in, in, in general so i hope i have helped somebody and yeah thank you so much guys for watching this video um we will definitely meet on another video but before i go let me just say um whatever comment that you have about this video i don't want to you know talk about anything specific whatever comment that you have about this video leave it on the comments section and of course if you liked it give it a thumbs up and guys i'm so excited it's road to 200 subscribers yay guys invite more people into the family um yeah invite more people into the family guys i am so so excited Thank you so much guys for watching. God bless and do take care of yourselves.